my favorite little girl doing? Good. Tell me a story. Once upon a time. They always start that way. Well, that's how you know it's a story, my dear. The right person playing Mr. Church needed to embody certain qualities and have the real warmth. We said, you know, God, Eddie would be so perfect. And we went after Eddie and pursued him. And then when he read the script, he loved it and cried, as we heard, um, and immediately said he'd do the movie. We are thrilled over the moon that Eddie responded to the material. Of course, if you look at his resume, he's never done a film like this. As you say, it's like a completely different kind of movie and a smaller movie than you might envision him doing. It speaks to the material and it's compelling and it's attractive and it makes talent want to challenge themselves. We made a list up of actors that we thought would be interesting for the role of Mr. Church and Eddie Murphy was um, right at the top. Eddie is mostly known for his comedies, however if you recall his role in Dreamgirls, he certainly proved that he has the dramatic chops. I'd never done anything that was this serious. You know, I've done things that had maybe some serious moments, but never where you know the movie's really not a funny movie. It was uh, working in a whole different area. It's really interesting because it's a totally different side of his personality than what you often see in films. It's quite fascinating and really engaging. I feel really lucky to get the chance to see that kind of transformation. Often actors who have worked in comedy really do drama really well and he's approaching the character with a lot of sophistication and it's just great to watch him tackle a dramatic role like that. You're going to see Eddie like you haven't seen him before. He is really cloaked himself in Mr. Church. Eddie's giving gorgeous, subtle, understated, really rich performance, and it's been a real pleasure. My dear, you have me from morning until night. And what I do when I leave here is my time for me. Don't take that away. The part that Eddie plays is uh, the cook, and he is so much more than a cook. He's a man who can and does do everything. Mr. Church is a jack of all trades. He can cook, and he can paint, and he can draw. You know, he's an artist. He cooks, but he's never read a cookbook. He paints, but he's never taken a class in painting. He's a voracious reader. What I love about Eddie Murphy in this role is that he doesn't discount all of those incredible qualities that people love about him. When he smiles, he makes the whole room light up. Um, but those specific moments are what makes his character so special. You know, there is a part of him that is very reserved, but the parts of Eddie Murphy that are so special, he completely incorporates and uses to our benefit. All the actors are really, really good, strong actors, and it was fun to be in an environment where people are connecting with the material that they're doing. That's, that's fun to be part of something like that. I mean, first of all, for Eddie, taking on a film like this, I think having Bruce Beresford direct inspired trust in Eddie, that he was putting himself in the hands of someone who knew how to handle this kind of material. When you see them talking on set, Eddie is really um, kind of giving himself over to, to the role. You see me do some different stuff, some stuff I never did before. Been around for a while to be able to do something different, you know, after all these years. That might be interesting to watch.